I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer as my base here just because I don't want you to be confused but there are many other eyeshadow bases in the market. So I'm going to blend this out and I'm not going to set it because I like it when my base is a bit tacky, not wet but tacky so it can hold the eyeshadow. So I'm going to set only the brow bone using a very natural color like the setting powder color. Now I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette for this cut crease. It has glitters and everything but first of all I'm going to go in with my transition shade which is that bright pink. Next I'll be using the purple to define my crease and some black. Then I'm going to take some of that pink eyeshadow and use it as base for my glitter. Now I'm going to go in with my transition shade first. I'm going to make sure to hold my brush very lightly so I can give it a very nice flush of color and also try not to poke my clients in the process. And as you can see, I'm applying this very high. If you want your crease to pop more, you should make sure to cut your crease higher so that when you open your eyes, you can see eyeshadow. I'm going to take this pencil synthetic brush and pack on some purple. If you notice, I've, I've placed it very high up. I didn't place it exactly where the eye folds. I'm trying to create a new crease above. So as you can see, there's a little bit of black there like I mentioned. Black and purple is what I'm going to use to define that crease. So as you can see, I'm taking my time. You apply, you blend, you apply, you blend. Now I've taken another brush with some of that transition shade, which is why the blending is going to turn out a little bit pink. So I'm going to use some of that baby pink color and blend the line where the purple and the brow bone um, setting powder meets because I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm going to make sure to even drag like tuck the eye if necessary. So as you can see, sometimes you apply the eyeshadow and it doesn't show as much as you want. So you apply, you blend as much as possible up until you get the desired look you're looking for. So I'm going to apply and blend a few times. You're going to see that up until I'm okay with it. Now I'm going to cut the crease using the same LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fun and this flat brush from my Kit Co. You want to make sure that the brush you're going to cut your crease with is very flat. I used to like using either a lip brush because it's precise but this one is big and it's faster for me. So you make sure you have a flat brush. Tell your client to look up wherever that um, concealer touches is going to be your guide from the top to where you're going to cut it. Just watch and see the way I'm going to follow that guideline to cutting the crease. I'm going to do like a half moon cut crease because it's the easiest one to do. And as you can see, because the brush is flat enough, it's giving me a crisp and clean line. As you can see, I'm not even struggling at all. So after cutting the crease, I'm going to make sure that my base is perfect and well blended. I'm going to spread out the concealer where I'm going to apply that eyeshadow. After I'm spreading out the concealer, I'm also going to prepare the base for the under eyes. So I'm applying the same concealer to the lower lash line. And after I'm done applying the concealer, I'm going to blend it out with another flat brush. After blending it out, I'm going to come back in with some of that matte purple eyeshadow. I also told you guys before that I like it when the eyeshadow base is um, tacky, not wet but tacky. So I'm going to take this blending brush and go in with some black and purple to make sure that that part is well smoked out and as you can see I'm using a denser blending brush. This brush is going to allow me to pack on eyeshadow and to smoke it out as well. So next, I'm going to go in with this pink that I told you I'll apply on the eyelids. This is supposed to give the glitter something to sit on. If you go on ahead and you apply your glitter on your concealer, everything is going to mix. So next, I'm going to go in with my glitter primer. I have these two, but I'm going to use the EA Beauty um, Glitter Adhesive. It's called Ida's Atalia, actually. So now I'm going to put some on the back of my hand, and I'll be using this very precise lip brush to apply my glitter i'll use the brush to take some of the glitter glue apply it onto the eyelid which is the area i'll be applying my glitter and i'll go in with this Ida's atalia glitter as well to apply now i would some people like to mix their glitter but i don't because it's a bit messy and if you don't use all you will waste it so i like to go in with little at a time you put some glitter glue on the area you want to apply glitter and then you go in with the glitter it's as simple as that little at a time little at a time 
so next i'm going to take this um pink eyeshadow and i'm going to use it to blend the glitter and the eyeshadow as you can see i'm applying it only to the end and now i'm going to go in with purple again to blend the purple and the pink again now if you notice i left some space between the lash line and the glitter that space is meant for the eyeliner you do not want your eyeliner to be rough therefore give some space for your eyeliner to come and be straight and clean that's the best tip just make sure to give some space your eyeliner will come out as neat as you want it so yeah now i'm going to do the um waterline this is not the lower lash line this is the waterline i'm going to apply some gel liner in there and then i'm going to go in with some mascara comb the top part to remove some fallout and then comb it back up to give it some volume and length then i'm going to use these lashes um i kind of fast forwarded this part but i'm not trying to spoil my lashes guys i'm being very gentle i'm just fast forwarding it so once you remove it from the pack you measure it on the person's um lashes and see i'm going to place it on her lashes and i'm going to make her look up once she looks up if i see any excess i'll trim it from the outer corner you can see that there's literally no excess it looks like her lashes so i'm going to go in with classic lash glue I'm going to give it a very nice and thin line and apply way more on the both edges so that it will stick well. Once it's this tacky, you have to leave it for at least 30 seconds for it to be tacky like this. If you fix it immediately, it's going to come off. Give it some time. Once it's tacky, it will fix perfectly. She's going to open her eyes and you see how it looks. By the way, I'm using tweezers to stick it onto the eyes. They are easier than using your hands. After sticking them onto the eyes, I'm going to use this other pair of tweezers. These are lash application tweezers and I'm going to use them to press her natural lashes and the false ones together. When she opens her eyes, you won't see a difference. 